Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Keep Your line, Lines Wet and Your Rods Bent. Now, I'm up here ice fishing in northern Michigan, and I'm on a lake that has a very good population of burbot. I don't know if you guys fish for burbot. If you don't, you should. They taste amazing. They're uglier than a snot ball, but they taste probably the best tasting freshwater fish I've ever had. Now, I'm up here, I'm jigging two rods. I'm in about 33, 34 feet of water. Um, and I picked up on this new lure. Now, I was, I was using ripping wraps, glow ripping wraps at that. Glow spoons, uh, like the Lindy glow spoon. And they work great. Uh, the slab wrap is another one that works really good. But I came across this new jig. It's a spoon. It's from, uh, I believe, Big Nasty Tackle or Big Nasty Jigs or Big Nasty Spoons. I forget. I'll, I'll make another a whole other video on burbot lures that I've used and everything else. If you guys want to, leave a, leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, but it's this right here. This is the heavier one. This I believe this is either the one ounce or one and a half ounce. Um, but it is just pure lead or tungsten. It's heavier than a rock. It falls like one, which is really great when you need to get right back down. I'm sorry, I'm watching my screen right now because I've been having burbot coming in and out. But I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it also has a rattle in it. And I don't know how many layers, like 15, 20 layers of glow paint it has. But I mean, this thing glows. Yeah, I'm going to put it in my glow cup. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, uh, I can't flip it around. Ice Hole Power. These guys make the best power boxes. I mean, look at that. You can just see it glow. It looks like a nuclear reactor just blew up on it. Um, I don't have any of my... I think I got some glow stuff on this side. Um, you know, these these bourbon are practically blind, and that's why I'm fishing at night. They're very sensitive to light. Now, in the past, I've used the Lindy Glow Spoons right there with the little glow sticks in them. I don't know if you guys can see that. It keeps turning on me. There we go. Little... Mm. Don't you just hate it when something won't cooperate? Right there. There's a little glow stick in there. They work great. Uh, I use a lot of these Rapala Ripping Wraps. Uh, I've got two different sizes in the glow just for burbot fishing. I come up here every year and I fish this lake. And I just love it. It's, it's really fun to ice fish for them. Here's the uh, Slab Wrap. Now, I know, I use these for crappie and stuff, but man, the burbot really honed in on them because that rattle and that lateral line they have, they just dart for it. Um, but I'll be making another burbot video here soon. I just wanted to go live while I'm thinking of it. Uh, you know, this is a really fun fish to go after, guys. It tastes amazing. This is the freshwater lobster, and I'm not joking about that. This tastes, now, I go scuba diving and dive for lobster down in Florida during the lobster season, and this is about as close as you can get to a fish tasting like lobster. Now, ooh, ooh, hold on. Uh, he's moving. I can't turn it around. He was right there. See him? You might be going after my other one, trout and spot, trout and pout spoon. These spoons, I mean, they bring them right up off the bottom, and you saw that. I'm in 33 feet, and he probably came up to 30, 30 feet just to come and sniff that spoon. Um, I'm tipping them with whole minnows tonight. It seems to be doing better than a tail or a head. Um, I've done all of them. Uh, the two that I've got to bite. I missed one, caught one so far, and I've been here for about hour, two hours. Uh, it hasn't been the best trip. My sled was acting up earlier. I had to drain it, all the fuel out. I got some tainted fuel, got some new fuel in it, ran great. Got out here, went to start the auger, cord pops off. 
Got my three holes drilled. But uh, this is like as I, as I've been trying to tell you guys, if you want to fish that bites, and I mean head over heels is hell bent on getting back down to the bottom once you hook them. This is the fish to go after. They're so fun, especially on this light, you know, short rods and ice rods and stuff. It is just the funnest fish to go after, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to reel up one real Ooh, man, that, that light is just brighter than all I'll get out in. Um, I'm actually going to reel up my smaller 5 8 ounce here. I got one in, uh, see, I mean, I, I tip them with a whole minnow. That's a 5-8 ounce. It's not as big as the one the big berth I just had, but I got one in a smaller 5-8 eight, in green, and I have one in red. Um, those are the only options I have for you. They have, I think, three different sizes. I'm not sure. Um, but, I mean, burbot is a fish that you just pound the crap out of the bottom. Uh, you guys need to check them out. See about getting them if you're if you're serious about maybe going up and going after some burbot. Um, there's a few lakes that have them. I'm not going to say what on here. You can do your own research. If I have a whole lot of people asking me, I might give one or two of my you know followers a, a heads up. But I mean, look at that. I mean, it is like a nuclear spill happened right next to that lure. It just glows for days and. I'm using my ice hole uh, 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 glow cup, uh, ice hole power glow cup. I mean, the check out these guys for a power box. Uh, I'm running two batteries, and I've been on this light for two days now, and I'm still at 12, 12 volt. Um, now I'm running a Helix 7 unit. Um, I was having power issues before on these lead acids and all that. Uh, I switched to, what is it? Amped Outdoors. Uh, lithium battery. Amazing battery. Uh, it's holding a charge forever with that 7 inch, you know, screen going. And uh, it works really great. Uh, I'm in my Clam Nano Thermal right now. Yeah, I know. I'm in my nice little hook hook gear it's currently 50 degrees in here and it feels really nice considering it you know 50 mile an hour winds out there you can't tell but it is just a sustained wind uh guys check these guys out they're awesome uh you know of course i gave you a couple other lures that i've been using but this is a fun fish to catch anyway Keep your lines wet, your rods bent. We'll see you next time, guys. Remember to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit ring that bell, and you'll be notified when our next video comes out about burbot fishing. This is a fun fish to go after. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, we're good. You guys have a good night.